How's it going? I'm Tobin. Today, in my backyard, I am uh, down with the Rona. Are you down with the Rona? It's Luna there behind me. Got Sakari down here to my left. She's watching me. I think she's hoping to get some food. Here today to do a shave with a uh, limited edition. It's been out before and it's back again for a limited time. That's Behold the What's Is from Barrister and Man. And the notes on this grapefruit, rose, and it says childhood memories. If you look at the sales page, the sales page um, says tangerines, sugar cookies, and warm, dried blankets. To me, it's earthy. Definitely, you, know, you get the floral and the citrus. But behind that, you get, hi Luna, some nice, like, mossy earthiness. Also to talk about my past week, and we're gonna do the announcement for the winner of the Shave Supply $25 gift card giveaway. And yeah, so let's get this going. Hope you're all doing well, all things considered. I'm doing well. Today is Saturday, the 21st of May. Last weekend, my family and I went up to a place called Great Wolf Lodge. Let me pause real quick, I forgot to grab my Captain's Choice Bowl. I think that's the only thing I forgot. So last weekend, we went up to Great Wolf Lodge in Washington State. My understanding is there's a, there's a few of them across the country. But what Great Wolf Lodge is, is think water park, indoor, arcade, and they have like a mini golf, a bunch of other stuff. Lot, uh, like three or four restaurants inside. So we went up there and Saturday I started feeling a little, a little sick. I thought maybe it was just, you know, all the chlorine and they have, you know, the water slides and the inner tubes and all that stuff. And so I've been playing hard with my daughter and my wife. And I just didn't really pay any attention to it. And then Sunday, I was feeling really tired and just dragging big time. Monday, got back home, went to work. Felt like I got hit by a truck. Tuesday, I was really, really congested and still just like no energy, just lethargy or lethargic. You wouldn't believe. So Wednesday, I had my wife do the at-home COVID tests and ended up doing two tests and both of them I was positive. And then my wife, who only had some mild symptoms, she had like a scratchy throat and a little achy, she said, but that was about it. And she tested positive and the next thing you know, that next day she's got symptoms like mine so I'm still fighting it uh, but I wanted to get on and do a video and talk with you guys about this amazing soap that is a fundraiser very similar to Sunny Lane if you've seen me talk about that before Sunny Lane benefited children's broadcasting this soap here from Bear Stern Man Benefits the Children's Literacy Initiative. One dollar from every soap and two dollars from every aftershave bomb or aftershave splash goes to the Children's Literacy Initiative. Look at that artwork. On the sales page it says who did this artwork and I think they just knocked it out of the park. <clears throat> this is only my second soap in the Omnibus, Omnibus base. My first was a maisel nut and then now I have this one and uh, I can see why Will decided to go with this one I'm really loving this base so creamy so dense great peaks post shave everything about it I love it great great soap 
Use this soap a couple of times now. I'm a scooper and a pooper. I'm a scooper pooper, pooper scooper. I am that though. Two big dogs, let me tell you. We do lots of scooping around here. Oh, razor today from Razor Emporium. It is a replate 1950s Gillette rocket. And I'm loading a Tiger Platinum in it. Been experimenting with these Tiger Platinums and the red package, which is um, the Tiger Superior, Superior Platinum. Today, something pretty cool. You might have seen it on Instagram. I won a comment giveaway on Razor Emporium's most recent video, and that's the twig razor versus the supply razor, a single edge showdown with Razor Emporium's videos. Um, if you like, comment, and subscribe with each video, virtually every video, you are entered to win a t-shirt like this one, exactly like this one, so that all the fanboys of the world can unite. I'm going to start a campaign to where I can be duly elected as the poster boy for that fanboy fan boy club. Uh, pretty happy with how I got it seated in there. Got some good reveal, even on both sides. Stuff's blown away. I'm not going to worry about it too much because I can pick it up. So, pretty stoked about that. I'm hoping that I can get... A white one. I know they do have some different colors. I sent DJ um, a message in the email. When you win, they ask you to contact them via email. And so that's what I did. And in that email, I mentioned that I had a black shirt from last summer. I was hoping I could get a white one. And if I can't, I'll probably just re-gift it on Instagram. Just do a quick like little drawing whoever wants to enter the drawing and a day later we'll give it away I'm hoping to get a white one though I'd love to have a white one to go with this one I am a fanboy like I was saying on the Instagram post I'm not kidding I'm not exaggerating somewhere around 30 razors um, I've sent two razor emporium to either go through their revamp process which is where they take it apart replate it do all the adjustments and or sent them a razor for a tune-up and a tune-up is exactly like a revamp the only real difference is with that they don't replate it and so there's been several times that either something's been beyond what I wanted to deal with and so I sent it to them or just too much to deal with and so I sent it to them I've done business with the other companies that are out there too I've done business with companies that are no longer in business I have received a few razors back that were not quite what I was expecting and just like it says on their website they stand by their product and there's been a, two or three times that I've had to send a razor back to them. They didn't squawk, squabble, or complain. I hear you, Luna. How you doing, baby? They, what you do is you just contact them. You know, a couple little steps that you do, just filling out a thing. And then you print a label and you mail it back to them. You know, telling them what it is on that little form that you fill out. That you're not happy with. I should have put my contacts in. The lighting isn't the best out here. And every single time, no matter what it was, they never questioned me or anything. They fixed it free of charge, 100% free of charge, and mailed it back to me. Another way that they've earned my fanboyness, if you will. A few 
uh, Black Fridays ago, three years ago, something like that. Um, it was back when they first came out with their own soaps, the old school, the barber shop, the Razor Emporium soap line with bombs and splashes. So whenever that was, I think it was about three, three years ago, it might have been longer. But when they came out with that, I wanted um, to get the balm, the beard balm. I already had picked up previously the aftershave balm, splash, and soap of the barbershop. And I loved it. And I, so part of the Black Friday deal, I was grabbing the beard balm. And like I said, it's Black Friday. So they're super busy. My package comes, you know, Thursday of that week or whatever. They always ship super fast. I open up my package and it's the aftershave bomb and no beard bomb. Well, at that time I still had a mostly full aftershave bomb that I love that I didn't need. So contacted them via email. They told me to, first they apologize, of course, right? In that email, so sorry about that, blah, blah, blah. You can keep the aftershave bomb. We are mailing you out your beard bomb. And a couple of days later, things like that, next Monday, I had my beard bomb. No questions asked, they didn't give me any trouble. So often, I said this in a video before, people will talk about how a company is great or how the insurance is great, but then you get to talking to them and they've never had a problem with that company or that insurance provider. And for me, I've learned that for me anyways, really learned just how good a company is when you have a problem with them and how gracefully they handle that situation. soap smells so good it's not sweet the sugar cookies is kind of a supporting character it's different it's unlike anything else um, in my barrister and man lineup You can definitely smell the rose. It's not over the top or strong. I call it a citrus fragrance with floral and a sweet underlying background. Thank again Gareth at Shave Supply for being generous enough to participate in a giveaway with me and for the community. I contacted him a month or two back asking him if he'd be willing to participate in the upcoming giveaway and he was more than happy to oblige. So what we have is a $25 gift card. The winner will contact... Hey, what's wrong? Second, guys. So we'll have the winner, let the dogs in, we'll have the winner contact Gareth directly, send him a message on Instagram. I might use the comment picker. I'll first post this on Instagram so the winner will see. Maybe not, maybe I'll switch it up a little bit this time, just because I know the winner. 
there's a good chance that he's going to see it before I post it. But right here, I'm going to put who the winner is. And that's my good friend, Angelo. Congratulations, Angelo. Contact Gareth on Instagram. It would be the best way to do it. And he'll get you set up with that $25 gift card. I'm trying to think what Angelo's username is on Instagram. When you get to know people well, or at least when I get to know people well, I sometimes forget their usernames and I just remember their real name. Angelo and his wife Crystal are both newer members to the Instagram wet shaming community the last year or so. They and I have become good friends with one another. They are amazing people from America's Midwest. I don't feel good, guys. Sorry if I seem a little down or lethargic. That's all it is. It's just this COVID kicking my butt. It's so much better than Delta, though. Delta, I had that back in September. And for two weeks, I just wanted to die. Delta was bad. This is very mild compared to Delta. It's been mild for my wife and daughter too. Daughter, we didn't even really know she had it. Same with my wife, like I was saying earlier, until later and then even then her symptoms were mild. This Tiger Platinum is doing really well for me. Um, and this Razor, not my favorite. I don't think it'll ever really become a go-to. I don't know, it's actually, that's nice. It's been smooth too, not tuggy. Got one little spot right here to clean up. Right here and right there. There's always the two spots I gotta go back after. This omnibus base is thick. It is, it's nice. I'm still learning this base. It might be my fourth or fifth shave with it. Somewhere around there. I've used a maisel nut twice. And then this guy. I just got the other day, last week. I've used it twice now. This is my third shade with it. Yeah, that's nice. That's real nice. Tiger Platinum. Hope you're all staying well and doing well. Starting to feel like spring actually showed up here in Oregon. It's been one of the wettest springs in recent memory. I've lived here my whole life and it's been wet and cold and just not spring. You know, we got a wet cold March but Usually by the time we roll into April, it's still a little wet, but it starts warming up. And then we rolled into May and it still wasn't. And finally today, the high was like 69. We have mid 60s the rest of the week with a couple of days in the 70s. And then the rain comes back, I think it's Thursday or something. Uh, give me just a second here to rinse in the kitchen real quick and then I'll be back. I'm back from the kitchen. Luna followed me out. A couple of things before I quit or before I wrap this up. John Bonham who does Cape Cod Wet Shaving on YouTube and on Instagram. He and I are working on something that I think is pretty exciting. I won't give you all the details right now. Just drop a little teaser about that. Um, I'm very excited for it and I think John is genuinely excited too. 
earlier in the year when I was starting my YouTube. I had said on Instagram that I wanted to make 2022 the year of giveaways. Did a fair share in 21. And I really wanted to step it up with the help this year of artisans and vendors alike. And they've done exactly that. we still got more to go. Um, in fact, the next vendor artisan shave giveaway that we'll be doing um, will be with Shave at Shave Co. Benjamin. That's going to be for his shave soap uh, blue. Watch for that around Wednesday or so. We'll get into that. But today I wanted to talk about a giveaway I'm going to do on Instagram. And that is courtesy of Sean, Self for Shaves. I'll put him right up in here somewhere so that you can thank him on Instagram. He, uh, he and I, we talk. And he uh, mentioned that he had a couple of razors that he wanted to send to me so that I could give them to you. One is a Rockwell T2 and the other is a Mercur Progress. I'm going to do both separate and I thought I'd do the T2 first. Probably tomorrow night, Sunday night, Monday. I'll put that on Instagram and we'll just do a, just an Instagram giveaway. Uh, typical rules on that. But again, to wrap this up, I want to thank Gareth at Shave Supply. Truly, sir, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, Angelo, congratulations. I can't think of a better person for this to go to. Uh, well, me, but I wasn't participating in this giveaway. Um, remember my favorite color is blue and I like shave stuff. <laughs> you guys take care of yourself. Hopefully by Wednesday, when I do my next video, I'm feeling much better and I kick this stuff in the butt. I've been drinking lots of vodka and Powerade, so you know, it's, I gotta be feeling better soon, right? Y'all take care, until next time.